Hi guys, I am going to show you the problem on lead code. Perfect number. So a perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisors excluding the number itself. A divisor of an integer x is an integer that can divide x evenly. So given an integer n, we can prove if n is a perfect number, otherwise return false. So what I mean by perfect number is I have given a number and uh, we have to check whether the sum of all the divisors except that number is equals to m the given number so what do you mean the, the divisors of our 28 are this plus and 28 also are divisor itself so except at 28 if you sum up all the numbers and if it is equal to 28 then you return equal equal to 28 means the number itself the given number itself then you return to otherwise you return false so in, in this case 28 the uh, divisors are uh, 1 2 4 7 14 so if given number is 28 devices are 1 2 then 4 then 7 then 14 then 28 but they have said a perfect number is that is equal to sum of its positive devices excluding the number itself so exclude this number that is of course 2 right if you add this number of course the sum won't be equal to the given number because it will be more than the given number so excluding the number if all these sums all this sum if it is equal to the given number then you return true if it is not equal then you return false so devices means in the sense that there are nothing but the factors of a number so one thing uh, you know is that usually let's take an example of 16 so what are the devices of 16 it's a 1 then 2 is a device of 16 3 no 4 yes 5 no 6 no 7 no 8 yes then 9, 10, 11, nothing is there, then directly 16. So these are the devices. So except this, you have to sum up these 4. So 8 plus 4 will be 12, 13, 14, 15. It will sum up to 15, so it's not a divisor. So how do you get a number is a divisor or not? One thing is we can run from for i equal to 1 to i lesser than n, not equal to n. If you traverse this and check whether n modulus i is equal to equal to 0, then you add that to the sum. But this will take a lot of time. You can cut down this uh, for loop by half of the time. How do you do that? So, you know the square root of 14. What is it? 4. Right? So, we'll write this factors again, devices again. So, for 1, if you take 1, how much the 1 into how much will be 16? 1 into 16 will be 16. So, next comes to 2. 2 into how much will be 16? 2 is a 16. Then divisor is 4. 4 into 4 is 16. Then after 4, it is 8. 8 into 2 is 16. Then the last 16 into 1 is 16. So if you observe, if, if it is 1, the 16 we have obtained, how do you obtain 16? This is 16 by 1. Here it is 16 by 2. If you do, that will give you 8. And how it will give you 4? 16 by 4. How will, how will it give 5? 16 by 5. Sorry, 16 by 8. And how will it give 1 16 by 16? So all the number divided by this i. The number by i. So if number modulus i equal to equal to 0, one divisor will be i. Other divisor will be number by i. So if you take 2, you know, now 16 modulus 2 equal to equal to 0. So one divisor will be 2. Other divisor will be 16 by 2. That is how much? 8. So that is how you got. So these are the two numbers. So you can add these two simultaneously. So if you observe the above this part and below this part are same. So you can implement this. You can compute here itself. Both 1, 6, and 2, 8, you can compute here itself. If number modulus i is equal to 0, then i common num plus, uh, num by i will be added to the sum. So these, 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 these are added. But when you come to this, you cannot add 4 plus 4. i comma i plus num by i. That will be twice. You have to add only 1. So for that, you have to check if i is not equal to num, num by i. So in all case, 1 is not equal to 6. 2 is not equal to 8. So in that such case, you do i plus num, uh, num by i. Otherwise, what you do, you add only i. So if i equal to equal to num by i, you add only 4. Right? You add only plus i. Some plus i you do. 
if it is sum is the total sum then sum plus i group so after doing all this sum so how what is this four four is nothing but the square root of the given number so until the square root of the given number you have to check so otherwise sum by two also you can do but square root of given number is best so after at last you have to check whether this sum is equal to equal to the given original number if it is equal then you return two otherwise you return false and one more thing which you are which you have to notice is yeah this is fine so now we will code this Uh, before coding, one more thing which you have to notice is we have to the, we have to exclude the given number. So so here the given number was sixteen, and we have to exclude sixteen. How do you ex exclude sixteen? For that you ex uh, exclude this loop itself. You start loop from for i equal to two till i less than i equal to square root of m num. So if you start from here, we will exclude automatically the another divisor. So we have but you have to add one right. So you do sum initializing to one itself in the beginning so that This will be excluded and this will be added. So we'll start from here. Here it will move till here. So these two will be added and this will be added. This one, right? That is how you solve it. So initially, what if the number is one? What if the number is one? Then that cannot be a perfect number because they have to sum of all is positive divisor excluding number itself. If the number is one, we have to exclude one. Will there be any divisor for it? No. That will be zero. Then zero will won't be equal to one, so you return false. So if num equal to equal to one, so you directly return false. So now in sum will be equal to one initializing, and in square root also we will uh, initialize. So let's say this because sqrt is a inbuilt function in now Java, so it will not use this. That will be mag dot square root of how much? No. So now run the for loop. For we will start from i equal to two because one we have some added over here and that number will be excluded. So i equal to two, then i less than or equal to square root, then i plus plus. You could use sqrt itself because mag dot square root is working in Java. Only the square root won't work, so but still we will not use it. So now we have to check if num modulus i equal to equal to zero. Then we have to add that to sum. So sum less equals to i. Again after this you have to check if that should be inside, right? So after this you have to check if I is not equal to num by i. Then you have to add num by i also. So sum less equals to num by. I will just give a bracket num by i. Got it? So i will always be added. We will add num by i only if i is not equal to num by i. So here four is equal to four. So in such case i is equal to num by i. So we will not add num by i. We will not include the other four. Only four will be included. So this will all this be included, and this will be included only if i is not equal to number. So that's it. Now at last, you return the sum. Okay. So you know this will math dot square root will return the uh, double as a integer type, integer type in Java, different type in Java. So we have to type cast it to int because square root is int. Right? So just type cast it to int. Now it will work. Okay. One more thing. Ah oh, yeah. I I got to know this. So at last you have to check return if sum equal to equal to num. Okay. Right? If sum equal to equal to num, then you return true. If it is not equal, then you return false. Yeah. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.